Hello, my name is Paul Bakken, and it has been my honor to serve you on the Egan City Council for nearly 20 years. Now, the last time I spoke with you like this was about four years ago, back in 2018. So, some things have changed since then, but I've tried to make sure that some of the important things have stayed the same. I've worked hard to keep our community safe, stable, and sustainable, even during our most challenging times. I've worked very closely with our police and fire departments to update equipment and improve public safety response times. I've also worked alongside the county and state governments to make some much needed pedestrian safety improvements to our roads and trailways. Additionally, I've worked to improve our basic infrastructure and have been a strong advocate for open space and environmentally friendly practices. Finally, I've advocated for a common sense approach to development and redevelopment striving to maintain a healthy and sustainable mix in our tax base. By doing so, I've helped keep our tax rate one of the lowest in the metro area and have made sure that we get good value for our tax dollars. If given the opportunity, I'd like to continue this work. Now you may ask, why do I do it? Well, because I live here too. My wife Alice and I have lived in Egan for over 29 years and Egan is where we've raised our three children, Max, Amanda and Katie. We love living here and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. So I'm going to keep doing whatever I can to make certain that Egan remains a great place for us to live, work, and raise our families. I believe I have the type of experience that makes for a good city council member. I'm a small business owner, I've served in the military, and I've served on the board of directors for three nonprofit organizations. I've also spent the better part of two decades building strong, positive working relationships with other community leaders. I would like to make my experience available to you and the rest of our community to provide continuity of leadership. The last four years haven't been easy, but we've made it through. By any objective standard, Egan is a success. And I think that Egan has a bright future. We just need to take those next steps together to make Egan even better. So I'm asking you for your continued support. And as I may have said once or twice before, if you're willing to put up with me for another four years, I'm willing to do the job. But for now, thank you for taking the time to listen to me, and please remember to vote. Early voting started on September 23rd, and Election Day is on November 8th. Thanks, Egan.